Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a closet organization and declutter video. I'm just gonna be making this a casual vlog style video. And yes, this is what my closet currently looks like at the moment. It is very unorganized and things are just disheveled and it drives me absolutely crazy when it gets like this and I can't stand it. So this is my closet. So up here on the top shelf, this is where I keep my jackets and my sweatshirts. That bag is actually my petticoat. I love that thing. And then way back there, you can see my really heavy sweaters. And then moving on to this top shelf, those are mostly all summer dresses. I have to refold them and go through them again because I think I could definitely stand to get rid of a few of those. That's where I keep my Tory Burch flats. I still keep the box for whatever reason. I don't know. And yeah. So the rest of these stacks of folded clothes are either summer clothes or things I don't wear as often, so I definitely could go through those again as well. And then moving down here, you're going to see the rest of my shoes, which I am super proud of myself because I think I've gotten rid of close to 30 pairs of shoes in the last two years. So I pretty much only keep the staple pieces, the neutrals, the things that I really, really love. So I think I'm doing pretty good with that. And then this right here is where I keep all of my skirts here. And then more tops and jeans and hang up things. And then from here over, this is my husband's side of the closet. So yes, we're going to tackle all of this today. And I'm super excited too because I'm going to be switching out all of my plastic hangers, as you see there, for these thin felt hangers that I got from Song Mix. You guys saw that I featured some of their products before, so I'm super excited for these. I got them in a pack of 50, and no, this is not sponsored, but these were sent free of charge, so I thought I would use them. So yeah, I'm going to be switching these out. So it's hard to know where to start, you guys, but I thought I would dump all my belts out onto the ground. I am a belt fiend, obviously. This is more belts than anyone would ever need, so I'm definitely going to be clearing some of these out. So just off the bat, I already know I don't want that one anymore. I know I don't want this one anymore. I don't want this one anymore. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is just kind of create a no pile and a yes pile, and then I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, so all the belts in the basket are the ones that I'm getting rid of, and I was pretty proud of myself because I'm getting rid of 17 belts, you guys. Like, that's really good for me. But then my pride kind of went away when I realized that I'm keeping 34 belts, which, I mean, I keep them in this comforter bag, <laughs> which, which is what my comforter came in, um, but I wear all these, honestly. I really, really do. I can honestly say that I wear them, so I think I pared them down a lot. Okay, so next I think I'm going to tackle skirts, which is going to be a struggle, as you can see. And they're like all hidden and some are falling off the hangers. And yes, so I think I'm just going to start by taking them all out. Oh my goodness, I feel like this was a huge mistake. <laughs> okay, so there they all are. I feel overwhelmed by this. So I guess what I'm going to do is start by pulling out the ones that I absolutely love. So to start all of my tulle skirts, I'm definitely going to pull out of here because I am not getting rid of these. I love these skirts. I've loved them for so long and it took me so long to actually find ones that fit me and that were actually as full as I wanted them. So I'm keeping these for sure. This teal ombre skirt from Express used to be my absolute favorite, but I think I'm going to say goodbye to it. And I'm going to see if I can fill up this whole basket with goodbyes. <laughs> it doesn't actually have stripes. That's the blinds making that look. But my mom made this pencil skirt for me and I absolutely love it. But it definitely needs a kick pleat. So I'm going to take it out of my closet until, you know, maybe she can do that for me. And then I'll definitely keep this. I'm sorry about these stripes, you guys. <laughs> these shadows from the blinds. But I don't want to be blinded either. So I used to love this, like, lacy gold skirt. But I think I'm over it. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is so pretty. Like, it's just so beautiful. It's neon pink, and it's the lacy look. And I wanted this so bad, and I finally got it. But it's kind of bright. Like, when you put this... I don't know. When I put it with black items, which is typically what I would wear with it, it just looks so neon and fluorescent. So I think I'm going to, like, let this go. I'm not doing good, you guys. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. Like... I've decided to keep so many of my skirts, and I've gotten rid of five so far, so that's not very good. 
we gotta try harder here. So after having looked through all the rest of the skirts, I realized that I love and wear every single one of them. So I guess it's gonna have to be five skirts that I got rid of and that's it. So now I have to try to figure out how to hang these all back up. Okay, so I actually found two more skirts to get rid of, so that makes seven total. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not bad. So I just wanted to quickly show you too one of the things that I did with my skirts. So I am a leather skirt lover, but I hate what the clamps on the hangers do to them. So for every one, I kind of sandwiched it in between two other skirts. So like there was one and here's another one sandwiched in between and then here's another one sandwiched in between and so on again. Here's another one. So yeah, that's kind of what I have to do. I don't know, I haven't found any hangers that don't do that as of yet, and these are supposed to have the little grips inside, little cushions, but they still make a mark, unfortunately. And I just hung up all my skirts again, and they look a lot neater now. So this is about, I don't know, 10 or so camis that I keep on one hanger and I really got to go through these because I barely wear any of these. Okay, so I've decided to keep the five basic ones and get rid of those ones that have like textures or lace or anything like that because I just don't tend to wear those. So into the basket they go. Okay, so these dresses, I'm just going to fold them and put them away because I think that I'm pretty much done with them for the summer season and I'll just store them away till next year. Okay, more things to put away for the winter. My husband said he's done wearing these two sport jackets for the summer, so I'm gonna put these ones away as well. So I just finished up with my husband's dress shirts. I think I got rid of five of them and one suit coat, so now I'm doing something a little bit different, keeping his suits back there, and they look pretty good. Okay, so the rest of all of this stuff, the folded stuff, might have to be saved for another day because I'm literally exhausted. This took me hours, but I got the entire hanging bar done. So I think this looks really, really good. I'm loving these hangers. I love how organized everything looks now and smooth and sleek. And I will leave the link for these hangers down in the down bar so you can check them out for yourself. Yes, they just make everything look so much better. So yes, I will save the rest for another day. But it'll still be in this video, so you guys will get to see it. But for me, it'll be another day. So I went ahead and started on my heels up on this top shelf here, and I got rid of four pairs from back here, and I kind of switched out some of my heeled boots for the winter back there. And then I keep all my colored pumps up here because those are what I wear most often. And then let me show you the ones that I got rid of. So here are the ones that I'm choosing to say goodbye to. These I love. I know they look weird in the shot, but it's actually because it's crushed velvet, but they don't fit me. They're sevens, and I take a six and a half, and I thought that I could make them work just because I loved them so much, but they are way too big on me. So I'm going to be saying goodbye to all these. So now I'm going to try to shoot for these bins here to try to clear those out and see what I can do with those. So basically I have my flats up in there and then in here are more like sandals and things. So yeah, let's try to see what we can do with these. Look you guys, I've only done the top half so far of the bin and I'm doing so good. And these are all the shoes on top of the heels that I'm gonna say goodbye to from that shelf. But this is now what the bin looks like and I'm super happy, so much more organized and clean looking. Okay, so I am so proud of myself, you guys. I was able to find 15 pairs of shoes to get rid of. So now my shoe collection is very much dwindled down. As you guys know, if you watch my videos, I did a shoe declutter not long ago where I got rid of almost half my shoes. So I will link that below or in a card somewhere so you can check that out as well. So here is all of the items that I'm getting rid of. It is an enormous pile, as you can see here, but I think I made some pretty good progress. And here are the items all bagged up. That one bag is very, very full. So here is the finished result. Here is an up-down view of the closet so far. And I'm pretty happy with it. We actually have some more cleaning out to do. As you can see, there's still things that don't have a spot yet, but I will work on that as time goes on. So we're pretty happy with the setup of his ties now. This is what it looks like. 
And basically the way we have them set up on these hangers is that when he turns it this way or if he turns it that way, he can see all of the ties that are available. They're all out in the open so he knows exactly which ones he has. And I've kind of color coded them whereas this one's like bright, this one's more pinks and reds, and then this one is more neutrals. So he's pretty happy with this setup. And this is what all of the hanging items look like now. I put his suits back there, which I think makes more sense, so that he can see all of his shirts. And then starting after those polka dot shirts, you can see my clothes are starting. And I put all my tops and blouses and then my dresses and then my skirts. So I'm pretty happy with the way the clean out looks. Um, we could definitely stand to do some more cleaning out, as you can see. But I'm pretty happy with this. I'm able to see all my clothes and when I come in here and want to choose something, it makes it a lot easier. So up above the hanging items, you see my most used folded clothing. And as you can see, I could probably stand to refold a few of the items. Some of them aren't as neat as I would like. For example, this row right here, that needs some help. But these are my pants right here. And yeah, I, I will get to that, but just not right now. And then over here are his folded items. I think they look really, really good right now, especially this last section with his t-shirts. They don't always look that good, especially when he's trying to pull them out. They kind of get messed up. So for the moment, they look great, and I'm pretty happy with it. So now an overview of the entire closet. 